Hello Android developers! My name is Mohsen and in a two-part video I want to talk about what is the CI-CD pipeline with some flavor of Android applications. Before I start, I would like to mention that besides Android Tips videos, I also do monthly interviews with Android community active members about their lifestyle, career path and their opinion about Android development. So do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and hit the bell button to get notified whenever there's a new video. Let's start with CI. CI stands for Continuous Integration which means early identification of issues by monitoring version control in real time and checking for potential errors. The idea is to automatically check the code to make sure recent changes did not break the project's integrity. It consists of a set of automated practices namely checking the code style, compiling and building the source code to find out it's compatible, packaging the final product which in our case is an APK file for every build and flavor type and at the end running tests. Based on the test pyramid concept, the biggest portion of tests should be unit tests cause they are fast and therefore cheap and then integration tests which are about testing how multiple parts of app integrate and work properly with each other and in the end UI tests which as we all know are the most expensive and slow tests. In the best case we can use Roboelectric open source library to simulate an Android device and in the worst case we require a real or virtual Android device running on the CI machine to be able to run our tests. Having this pyramid in mind, we should also make sure we do not block the CI with a slow UI test for every change commit and maybe only trigger them for pull requests. Therefore, this is a good point for you to discuss with your team and decide which source control changes should trigger which part of the CI flow. As a quick sample, I'm going to use a simple Android application to set up CI CD pipeline for it. I have already done setup linters like ktlint and detect to make sure the source code integrity stays the same in every pull request and on top of that some simple unit tests. There are different cloud or even in-house platforms that you can buy or rent to set up for your Android application. Services like CircleCI, Jenkins, Fastlane, Bitrise, JetBrains, TeamCity, and etc. Today I'm going to set up GitHub Actions CI CD platform for our sample application. The Android Gradle plugin brings many useful tasks, including check that executes linters and tests. Plugins like Detect and Ktlint add themselves as this task dependency, which means this task won't be successful if they find any issues in the code. The assemble task takes care of creating the main output for every build type and flavor without any dependency on the check task. Another useful task to know is the build task. A healthy Android project can run the build task without issues. This task depends on the check task in the task graph, which means if you run the build task, the code will be compiled, linters and tests will be executed, and it also depends on assemble task and in the end will generate the APK packages for us. Therefore, this task is a good candidate for CI. I've already pushed this project code to a GitHub repository and will use the GitHub Actions setup tool to build the very first configuration. You just need to search for Android and let GitHub suggest a basic config for your app. The configuration is a YAML file that defines the build name, triggers, and some jobs. In a simple word, you can think of CI as a virtual machine on GitHub clouds that is rented by you to build your project, and you have SSH access to it. The YAML file defines those commands that should be executed on the virtual machine using direct terminal commands or action libraries. In this Android project CI config example, the jobs are cloning the code, installing JDK, granting execution permission to the Gradle wrapper file, 
and in the end executing the build task using the wrapper. You can create the same file using your IDE, but for the moment I will commit and push this change directly to my repo main branch. As you can see, as soon as GitHub finds the CI configuration file, it checks the triggers, and since we had pushed into the main branch as a trigger, it started working and running the project build task. You can open the build logs and see every step messages and the CI progress in real time. This build took 5 minutes. Based on my experience, if you switch the virtual machine to macOS, it can even execute faster. But keep in mind that Mac machine's price is higher than Linux one. What I'm going to do next is to break the build on purpose by pushing a badly formatted code to a branch and creating a pull request to trigger the CI so you can see how it helps to find issues at the early stages. As you can see, the check task also breaks locally, but let's say that developer forgot to execute that before creating the PR and push the faulty code. This faulty code broke the CI and it's also visible on the PR details and stops us from breaking the source code integrity by merging this pull request. This was a very simple example and you should think of bigger issues like breaking a test by mistake or even introducing a new bug in the production. The GitHub actions come with many open source actions and you can go further and for instance integrate it with your team Slack channel so you get notified whenever someone breaks the build. If you are interested, I will add links to some interesting and useful GitHub actions to the video description and also some references to learn how you can customize your project CI configuration YAML file based on your project requirements. That's it for this part. Please write in the comment section which CI service you are using for your Android app and why you like it better. In the next video, I will talk about CD and bring some sample apps and services that can help you with this part of the pipeline. Please do not forget to like and share this video with other Android developers and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button to get notified when the second part is ready. Bye!